because my match has already started. We could have a while ago, but not not now. Get that. This is this is a good step for everyone that's learning to play Storm out there. This is a good a good step. Um, be on the play when you're when you're die roll. Good step one. Uh, well, man, I have a land. A land right here. I hope it gets. I hope they force your land. <laughs> <laughs> this format's great. <laughs> yeah, right? There should just be like a take all button, right? This is a keep. It's got mentor in it, right? It's brainstorming. It's brainstorming. Let him a preordain to start anything. I'm gonna bottom this, I'm gonna top this recall. <laughs> Just yeah. not, not play a land this turn, you know? <laughs> Go ahead, bud. <laughs> Go ahead. This is all I got. Go keep this. Go keep this draw three. God, I almost just typed Sapphire Ruby Delver up here. What is this? You are Delver. This is the Eldrazi Taxes deck. Maybe that was an aggressive use of force. We're gonna brick here and concede. God bless it. All right. Um, let's, let's cast these out now. If actually, if we hit if we hit a land next turn that's untapped, we could we could actually be in a good spot, right? Nice strip mine opponent. Well, that one can't resolve. <laughs> Land, please, or Mox. Darn, we're short of treasure crews. All right. Yep, probably we play thought that's here. We're going to die. Nope, just reality smasher. Please be a smasher, please be a smasher, please be a smasher. Yes, reality smasher. Look, I just copy and pasted a deck list. Don't don't act like I Yeah, stop. Stop 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 acting like I thought about this. We didn't we didn't think about this. Did We're you just think about the This is great. This is great. Top. <coughs> Top. Top. Um. I'm past the turd here. If they don't have interaction this turn, we'll probably kill them on our next turn. Right? <laughs> I'm fine with this, right? Because there's a Mox, Opal, and Tundra on top of my deck right now. So I'm going to draw one. And he's going to shut off one of my things here and then it doesn't matter because I'm going to draw with the top. Yeah, this is this is fine. And even if he names top, right? Like I just like draw the Mox, Opal. I, I could activate the top and draw with it in response, but I don't want to do that. Since he's dividing top. For fuck's sake. <sighs> what a tilt. What a, what a tilt. We were gonna we were gonna kill them. We we're gonna win the game. We were gonna win the game, Maddie! Gosh, we were going to win by so much. 
Um, do we just click submit on the play? I feel like I just want to click submit on the play. I mean, I have like these cards for like the artifacts. I don't really care about those, I don't think. You can beat me in deck, Nelrod. We're filming that newest hit movie. There's balloons because Declan loves balloons. Tiny children love balloons. Yeah, for those that are wondering why we're con why we conceded, we don't have any mana there. Dude, Nelrod turns off all of our mana. Uh, this hand really doesn't do anything, right? Is that like Mox will pull in Brainstorm? I guess Brainstorm makes it fine. Like, Brainstorm makes all hands keepable. Sure, not yet. It will at some point, though. Hilarious, Max. So about that having any... So about that not having any lands you were so snarky about. <laughs> That's... All right, well, you know. We're supposed to ponder first here, looking for a land, kinda. I guess that seeds don't do anything, right? Gets us closer towards using this for mana and paradoxical outcome. We'll concede to a Trinisphere or Sphere of Resistance here. <laughs> Thalia, play a hate card, we'll concede. I mean, Thalia Guardian 3, but new, new, new Thalia is fine. That Thalia I don't care about. All right, give me a mox. Give me a mox. Daddy needs a mox. Daddy needs a mox. There's a mox. All right, let's 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 do busted things. And by that, I mean we're going to draw three. Ooh. Ooh, candy. Oh, no, my land came into play taps. That's sad. Um... Am I supposed to Yogg Will here? No, I don't have enough mana. I will just pass because I have uh, mana drained up. All right, so the only thing we really care about here is a Thalia Guardian of Thraben. So I can mana drain anything else that's relevant. Oh, I could yog will the Lotus. Yeah, you're right. I think I'd rather wait a turn, though. I think I'd rather wait a turn, especially with this mana drain. <laughs> Do I want to brainstorm here? I can see one less card by brainstorming here. Yeah, I'll just wait. Another Mox Opal. I mean, that's basically, uh, that's basically a Lotus Petal. Oh, I have to Yogg Will first. Um, is that a Brainstorm to start then? Because this is a Lotus Petal, essentially, so... Yeah, I'm going to Brainstorm to start, see what we get. We get another zero mana artifact here. Like that. Oof. That, that unfortunately is going to come into play tapped. Uh, I'm going to put Mana Drain back. And I'm going to put... I guess the Teleriot Academy doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to float here. I'm going to cast this. Keep this one. I'm going to play this Mana Crypt. Um... I'm going to crack this Lotus for black. We're going to cast Yogg Will. 
Now I can cast cards from here. So cast this Black Lotus. Um, make Black Mana here. Probably Blue Mana is going to be my bottleneck. Nah, probably. Black Mana here. Play this other Mox Opal from my bin. Choose to keep this one. And we'll make blue, blue, bloop. And then we'll go ahead and cast this Paradoxical Outcome. Return all of these to my hand. This deck's sweet. All right, draw a bunch of cards. All right. Uh, cast this. Oh, no, did I brick? No, I have a, I have a Demonic Tutor. JK, 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 LOL. Have Demonic Tutor. Are they dead? There's a Tendrils in my deck, right? Storm, Storm Crowd's only 12. I didn't board out. I didn't board that out, right? What if I get Mind Break trapped? I have a, I have a Mana Drain. JK. Oh, I have Voltaic Kid Tinker. <laughs> oh. All right, so this into black. This is enough mana for I don't I don't know man look this is this is this is so tough man that's this is I don't know what I'm doing all right let's cast this where are my tendrils at there are my tendrils all right target you. I just, I have so many combo kills, I don't know which one to pick, people. Do you not understand that I just have too many combo kills? And I don't know which combo kill is right? Oh, that's why there's a Tendrils on here. Because killing them with, with Vault Key would have been too slow to do on Magic Online. Side in Island. That's probably a good idea. Board the Island in. This main deck fluster storm is probably terrible. <laughs> Alright, we figured it out. We fumbled around a little bit, but I got out of it. Hopefully we'll be able to just like get, get the old turn one here. <laughs> Hope everyone out there is having at least half as much fun as we are. Storming people in vintage. Library of Alexandria on the draw. <laughs> I don't actually think that's good enough for this matchup, right? <laughs> it might be fine. I've got two shots to draw a blue card for this Sensei's Divining or for this Force of Well. What did he just step on? <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't have a recall in my 75. Which is probably wrong. I don't know, like I said, we're just, I am, I am not a skilled vintage magician. I just copy and pasted someone's duck. Do you wanna come say hi to the internet? Say hi, internet. My name is Declan. <coughs> yes, you're a screecher creature. Deal. Deal. Ow! Don't don't clothesline me. Uh, Hex is releasing for the PS4 one week one week from today. Don't you bite me, you little cannibal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Ow, that hurt. If I play this, I think we need to play this and play the Mox Emerald here. So this way we can spin the top and then draw a blue card to force something here if we need to.
as a wasteland for my library. That's rude. You're a turdler, you know that? <coughs> Man, if this is all the disruption they have, we're actually gonna be a pretty good spot here. They did tank on their seven, like, is this seven good enough? Yeah, I don't, I feel like this isn't enough meaningful disruption for them, but we'll see here. All right, so we get to draw a... Do you want a Mox Ruby or a Mana Crypt? This thing does damage to me every turn, right? I don't think... I think I'd rather have the Mox Ruby here, actually. You want a different show? Uh-huh. Okay. Why don't you go show me which show you want? Point to the one you want. <laughs> You're a tidy. Thanks, Jin. Yeah, the Turbo PNX is a lot of fun. It's one of some of the most fun I've had playing Legolas playing a TCG in general in a long time. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just gonna pass here. I need to pay to search anyways, and I really don't want... The Mana Crypt allows us to hard cast Force. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. And that's no longer an option now. Yeah, I think I want to... At pay for this and then vamp tutor. That's kind of scary. Although, unless if they just have a. <laughs> that fucking tweet is insane. <laughs> just like the most gas o gasoline. Okay, so yeah, this is fine. I don't really care about Neldrazi Displacer. And Magic Online all in one. <laughs> if anyone, if it's sunny where anyone's at, Matt threw some shade on Twitter here for you. All right, so we're going to pay for this because that's intuitive, clicking to activate my opponent's card. Yeah, and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to go ahead and Vamp Tutor here for a paradoxical outcome. Hey, Twitch to Fire with the brand new Prime subscription. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just want to get an outcome here, right? So outcomes drawing, I guess it's drawing five. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. That's probably enough to kill them. Oh, there's a Lotus on top of our deck. All right, well. So, to go ahead and draw here. They have a stop during my upkeep. Why do you have a stop during my upkeep? Thank you very much, Twitch Prime, or Twitch 2 Fire. I do appreciate it. Twitch Prime, Twitch, Twitch 2 Fire for the Twitch Prime. There's too many Twitches. There's too many Twitches. All right, so we're going to play a land here, and then... So what you do is you want to retain... Is that is that true? Oh, oh, so let's, let's do this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to draw with this while retaining priority, and then you want to paradoxical outcome interface. I knew there was a retaining priority thing I wanted to do here. It said it took me a second to think about it. So now we pick all of these up. So we pick all of these up. We draw four, and then then the sensei's top trigger resolves, and we draw another one. Another paradoxical outcome. Is that one good? good job. Is that one? That one seems okay. Cast this. Cast this. Cast this. Um, go ahead and tap all of these. Cast paradoxical outcome. I don't know if man. I'd have to sec. I have to sec the lotus. Yep. All right. Oh, good. We found a. We found a soul ring. We found a we found a time vault and a tinker. Look at my opponent just playing like good honest white creatures over there. I guess I'll I guess I'll draw all my cards. This is this is just this is just good clean living is what this is. Um so I could do this and cast this time vault. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and crack this for blue. And I'm gonna cast this Tinker, sacrificing this. I'm gonna go... Oh my god! Magic Online! Why? <laughs> fucking Magic Online, man! God, this fucking software! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh god! Magic Online! I have to click on their card. Why do I have to click on their card? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Why? Oh, I hate. I hate everything. I hate. Everything. My life is miserable. Yeah, Declan, that's how I feel. Declan, come, come and scream with me. Scream with me now. <laughs> I paid twelve dollars for this. You're still a champion. I paid twelve dollars for this. All right, go. You can almost cast your Blightsteel. I can, in fact, almost cast my Blightsteel Colossus. <laughs> honest white, that wasn't a very honest white creature. I agree. I agree. Not, not honest in the slightest. Okay. Can you play a show for him? This is the perfect time. <laughs> okay. It should, it should prompt you. It, when you go to search, if you haven't paid for Leonin Arbiter, Magic Online should prompt you. I'm aware if he blinks the Arbiter, I have to pay twice. That I am aware of. All right, if he doesn't, Thought Not Sierra is here, we should be okay. Declan, what show do you want? I know, I know Dad got you wound up because Magic Online. I got, look, I got look it. it. Uncle, Uncle Matt's got it. All right, so this one? make mana, make mana, make mana, make black mana. All right, we're gonna hold down control. We're gonna kill them this turn. It's not gonna matter. We're gonna kill them. They 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 are dead. They have lost. They've lost the game. Right, do I want? Do I want to pick up the time vault? I probably don't. I guess I have enough mana that picking up the time vault's probably fine. Do I need to pick up the time vault here? Wait, what? I don't... Wait, okay, cancel? What is going on? Why won't it let me... Two, three, four, five... Why won't it let me click on this? Why won't it let me click on this? It's clicked, it's just not highlighting it? We'll find out, I guess. All right, yeah, it is. It is selected. All right, sure. All right. All right. I was like, why can't I cast anything? Because I still have two draws here from this. Okay. I watched. We had a modern. Yep. And rules and stupid path deck. Yep. So. Someone got passed with Leon and I. Because <laughs> you have to remind them, it's like, you can search your library. And they're like, oh yeah, and they pick up their deck. It's <laughs> empty page. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> have I played Yogwill yet? I haven't even played Yogwill yet this game, right? We got a time walk here. I've got a recall. <laughs> Just to hand out Jeremy. Maybe I'll get him this way. My deck sucks. I did. 
All right, what am I doing here? All right, all right. What's our rate condition here? At some point, our opponent dies. Don't ask me how, but at some point, they, they no longer, they're no longer alive. Man, I've got a force of will in here somewhere, okay? That's all I'm saying. There's a force, a force of will in here somewhere. All right, so then... My storm count is eight. I kind of want to win the game this turn, right? Do I, do I want to win the game this turn? Um... Well, uh, so I, I have these two. I think I just want to recall to start. I guess I could dig. Now nah, I'm one short of a dig. Let's go ahead and recall. I guess. Yes, I guess we'll recall. Yay, I drew another thing. All right, so um, I can cast this. There's 23 cards left in my deck. Oh, I should tap these for, for things because they're colorless. Just Vault Key. Now, Vault Key is too much work. Does it look like my opponent's going to concede to Vault Key? Go read Randy. If Randy Bueller was here, he'd understand. He'd understand my opponent's not conceding to Vault Key. I'll put Vault Key on the table, and I bet they don't concede. Maybe they do. You know, maybe maybe they're a Randy Bueller fan and they concede to Vault Key. All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. So we're gonna go ahead and retain priority, draw a card. Retain priority, draw a card. Thanks, you want. It's got to be this deck, right? <laughs> like, it just doesn't. It, it just doesn't. One. It showed one is clicked. It showed one is clicked and not the other. Yeah. I can't wait for mana. Oh, I could have keyed for mana. Yeah, you're right. I, I missed. I technically missed generating mana there off the key. I, know. I, I don't think mana is going to be our bottleneck, folks. I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out on a limb, but I don't think man is gonna be the bottleneck. And honestly, here, like, I have this mentor. If you're gonna ask me why I'm not mentoring, um, it's a lot of time too. Although I have a time walk, and I have this key. All right, fine. We'll mentor. We'll, we'll mentor. All right, cast. Why is why is it all spells? Why is it all spells? Does anyone know? All right, opponent. Do you think do you think you're going to time me out? I have eight. I have eight minutes, opponent. You is this worth? Is this worth your life? Is this worth the time in your life? Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him auto passing there. I want to make sure I don't play the one that kills me. Right? Which are these? One of these artifacts kills me. Right? Does this one deal damage to me? If this is beaver or draw step, if this is uh, this one only hurts me if it's tapped. Okay, so we just won't tap that one. Got it. Oh, I could vamp tutor for tendrils. Yeah. Oh, I could vamp. I could have vamp tutored for tendrils. Yeah. I wanted to kill with monastery mentor. <laughs> oh, I already played the mana. It's fine. It's fine. Where do I? Does this make black mana? Man, Vintage is really hard. I just I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I can pay for the Arbiter here. Woo. Woo. We almost did it again. They almost got me again. They almost got me again. It almost got me, ladies and gentlemen. It almost got me. Thank you, chat fam. Thank you, chat fam. I appreciate you. God bless you, opponent. God bless you and your crappy. Storm counts 25. Storm counts 25 here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it? Was. Oh, no. They can. I was just about to BM them in chat. I was just about to BM them in chat. Now they concede. Now they concede. Man, what a tilt. They were like making me click through it the entire time there, and now I was finally about to BM them and they conceded. That was a really well played game. I feel like. I feel like both sides tried their hardest. I don't think you made any mistake in the game. You won. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone watching is having at least half as much fun as we are killing people with vintage. They went to get some coffee and a donut. 
Storm player doing storm things. What? The P.O. show? Paradox Cloudcom show, baby. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it means English isn't their first language. But based on the cowboy hat... The name? That's, that's like the whitest name. <laughs> Bob Johnson. Do we do we think paradoxical outcome is a fair and balanced magic card? A reasonable <laughs> vintage legal that card? Has to be re <laughs> While we're waiting for the next match to pop, I would just like to plug the sponsor. In addition to you all watching here, these folks are what make it possible for me to stream. Big shout out to all of my subscribers and resubscribers. I appreciate you all. And also all of my sponsors here listening on the site, mtgotraders.com. Love to buy and sell magic online cards. If you're going to pick up Paradoxical Outcome Storm to slay some nerds online, you should uh, do it with MTGO Traders. Use code Hoagland PayPal to have 8% on your singles order there. Coolstuffinc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles using promo code Jeff5. You can save 5% on your orders from them. Inkedgaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using uh, code Jeff12 there. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, and sleeves. And finally, SpareDeckDeck.com. They offer kind of a unique service. They'll rent you any physical, standard, or modern deck. And using code Hoagland7, you can save 7% on your rentals with them. Just need to ban the box and instead. That's true. This is basically Turbo PA, right? This is basically the Turbo PA deck. Monastery Mentor is, is Psychic Ascension. We can't, we can't add Hercules Recall. This is why Magic Online League suck. We are trapped for the next five, four matches. We cannot make any changes to our deck. I have put my $12 into the Magic Online slot machine, and we are locked in, ladies and gentlemen, locked and loaded. This isn't a match-by-match, match-by-match, uh, match, you know, ladder. Did someone did someone link me the explain Leonin Arbiter clip? Where's the Leonin Arbiter clip? All right, we got a live one. We got a live one. Let's kick up a storm one more time here, I think. One more, one more time through. I mean, this is the turn one, right? Oh, rats, we're on the draw. Opponent mulligan. We're going to get, like, a bunch of lock pieces here. But, like, so, turn one here is Mox, Mox Emerald, Mana Vault, Underground Sea, Paradoxical Outcome, draw three cards, hopefully combo through our decks.
Oh, basic, basic play. Wait, is this the same opponent? It is this. Okay. All right. Maybe we're done playing vintage today after this. We, we re queued into the same opponent. They do have dull rods in their main deck. It's a good thing. It's a good thing we're going to try and combo on turn one. Oh, huh. I actually punted. If I if I would have um left a white floating, now it's the same, right? So I, I can still cast the mentor here, yeah. <coughs> oh, and I actually I have a forcible in my head too. <laughs> nice nice deck full of basic planes opponent. Anyway. I actually punted. <laughs> Opponent concedes. All right, we're gonna put this basic island back in here. Cut this luster storm. <laughs> Opponent thought they were gonna get a turn two, Declan. <laughs> Opponent thought they were gonna get a turn two. Opponent thought they were gonna get a turn two. <laughs> I think I should have left a white mana floating as opposed to a green, but ultimately I think it ended up not mattering. But like I have white spells in my deck and not green spells, so like, white and black. yeah, it's stri it's black. strictly correct to use the green and red mana from the Moxing because it's basically just colorless mana. Get my get, get my leg workout in here. Dad skipped leg day yesterday, so we'll get some. <laughs> Again. Again. Opponent lost at deck registration, but their deck has so many hateful cards in it, Burgle. It has to be good against us. I wonder if this is the same person we dumpstered with Delver earlier today, too. Don't, come on, misplayed to register force. Is it cool outside? It's a lot in here. Oh, oh look, that window is open all night. Look at that. Is this hand fine? Basic Island Recall, Mentor. Sure. It's got a recall. Technically, we could turn one of them if this recall is real good. Why? So when people asked earlier, are all the good decks blue and vintage? The most part, the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> also, like, you have to, like, ask yourself the question, right? Like, I can register Recall and Time Walk and Force of Will, or I could register Leon and Arbiter. Like, those are your, those are your choices. Who wakes up in the morning and goes, wait, they chose to, yeah, they chose to play first. Like, who wakes up in the morning and goes, I would rather register Leon and Arbiter than Ancestral Recall. Like, is that, is that a real, is that a real decision people make? To be honest. Leon and Arbiter. That did, look, we won that match, okay? Oh no, don't chalice me. Don't chalice me. Woo. I think I'm gonna fetch because there's Leonard Arbiters in their deck. There's also three mana Thalias. Do I want to recall now to try and combo? Probably. I have to discard two cards if I miss, or one card because I have a Mox Opal. Man, what a tilt. It's pretty unlucky. Uh, what am I discarding? A fetch land? Probably. Tendrils? That's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Tendrils. Ain't need no tendrils to win. Basically playing Rotten Rancor. Dig through time. Dig through time, yep. <laughs> Please name Eldrazi. Yeah! No Thalia in turn two. I wonder if they have answers to... Oh, this is technically an answer to... I was going to say, I wonder if they have answer to Blightsteel. That's technically an answer to Blightsteel. That recall was not very good. What, we hit land, land on it? Hey, Mana Drain is... Kind of mediocre because they have a Cavern of Souls here. Counter target spell. Okay, so I can still mana drain something as a ritual here, even if they have an Eldrazi. Yep, 
Yes, yeah, so like hopefully they smash us here. So if they smash us, it ramps us for a bunch. <laughs> I get to dig through time next turn. What headbutting you is so much fun, yeah. Uncle Matt. No, I have one, two, three. Okay, there's a Mox Pearl, sure. TKS would be kind of annoying here. Oh, this, is this is a TKS. Please just be another Eldrazi Displacer. Yeah, look at these. Look at these cards my opponent just put in their deck for some reason. <laughs> That's fair, Cliffy. Not floating blue is strictly incorrect. I agree with your assessment that not floating blue is strictly incorrect. Oh, baby. If they play something, we can mana drain for a bunch of mana. We just tinker time vault them next turn. Yeah, we need... So there's four cards in our discard pile here. So we want to play strand. So that way we can go fetch, fetch, dig it end step if they don't give us anything to mana drain. And if they give us something to mana drain, like, great. I didn't play Island because I want to delve my dig through time. It's it's, it's so, so good. It's it just like in every relevant format. Can't I just play this in modern? Like I would Who much rather. Yes, you are dead. That is yep, exactly correct. I would much rather because because this is a card. Grix's Death Shadow couldn't play this card because they have too many delve things in their deck already. Third displacer's the charm. Oh baby. Do I want to manage that or do I want to dig here? I think I'd rather dig. I think I'd rather just dig. Oh, it would have gotten us Vault Key. No, oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Mana Tithe one time. And I'm gonna die now, aren't I? No, I have, I have, I can get uh, Mox Sapphire and Voltaic Key. That's fine. Is Mox plus Key lethal? I don't actually know how much mana these things take. <laughs> Man, this vintage is a really skill intensive yeah. format. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't wanna do that because then I can't. This costs three, right? No, this only costs two? This only costs two? It's a joke. So I can I can play this library and draw a card with it? Right? I'm pretty sure that makes a mana. I know it makes a mana. This card makes a mana for some reason. You could argue that Vintage is the most skill intensive format magic has to offer. And then I am living proof of that. Opponent, opponent thinks we're going to be able to figure it out with 21 minutes on the clock. So, so smart. Though. Let's see if this next patch, match pops right away. Where's the hex draft queue? Zero of eight. All right, let's see if another match pops here. Yeah, I think so. They they figured we we're gonna figure it out with twenty minutes left. Yep. Power Ranger. Which show do you want? You want Mega Force? Uh huh. Lost the die roll. That's a bad start. 
Um, easy mulligan here. Sand's pretty decent. Uh, outcome, please. Mentor. Yeah, this is a turn one mentor, right? Nope, not quite. <coughs> Still a keep, though. Oh, this is a turn one mentor, right? This gets it in under uh, Mana Drain. Your turn, opponent. I'm gonna stop, dur I'm gonna stop during my upkeep. Days is a card that sees occasional play in this format. We could get Abrupt Decade here. That's adorable. I'm going to vamp tutor for recall during my upkeep here. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Gonna misstep? Sure. Oh, vamp for time walk. Is this attack free? What could he have that punishes this attack? Anything? They have they're going to 2 3. Is there, they have any anything? Is there a magic legal card that punishes this attack? Matthew chat. It's a 2 3 charmer goif. Gut shot. Gut, it's exactly your, it's your it's a Phyrexian card. Name your favorite Phyrexian name card. Name your favorite Phyrexian card. Yeah, gut, like Oh god, there's so many of them. Am I supposed to attack? I feel like I'm supposed yes. to attack. We just named a bunch of cards that blow you out. Of course you're supposed to attack. <laughs> <laughs> we just named a bunch of cards that blow you out. Of course you're supposed to attack. <laughs> Did you get opponent? <laughs> oh no, not Leo. Not Leo. Oh no. How do you beat that? Don't. Yeah. I have mentor out already, so maybe. They'll draw DT for time walk, it'll be fine. Built. I can't draw I can draw a card in their turn. Yeah. It's fine. It's going to pick these up, and then uh, I'm waiting till their turn to do this so I can draw a card with it. Maybe that's wrong because it lets the mana drain it. Excavator, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to need to draw a card on their turn now, and I'm going to put these back in my hand, which will let me recast them for Mentor, which is great. This looks like one of the fair Sultai midrange decks from the Vintage Super League. Right. All right. So even though this only draws one card, we're returning both of these to my hand because I want to recast them. Also, this is going to put three cards in my hand. My draw will be a fourth, so I still can't have. And they forced it, even though it's only drawing one card, because again, it's going to get me more more mentor triggers. Wait, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting closer to just hard casting this, right? Sad illusion! With the three month three subscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Did I just do this now? 
I don't draw a card, but I get infinite triggers. These would be five fives. Yeah, I'm just supposed to pass now, I think. At one draw step. They drew force. Help. Maybe they drew dig. Did you dig? This must be a dig, right? This lets them leave two mana up. Wait, why did we leave green up? Oh, well, back in a holding pattern. I guess they want to take a card out of my crypt. I had running counterspell into their best draw, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We need to rip like another outcome here, like a demonic tutor. <laughs> <laughs> they find the abrupt decay. Looks like they found. Nope, that doesn't cast abrupt decay. That's, That's probably getting a. All right, this is it? One last shot. Chance to roll. Dig through time would be okay for us too. Lotus cast plate steel. That's funny. Is that cast plate steel? Plus three mana. I think that's one short. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Yeah, it's one short. It's two. No, it doesn't. This is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we only have four tickets. Oh no! Double Jace! New Planeswalker. New Planeswalker rule OP. It's really unfair. Yeah. Yogg will. Oh, now I have to lose a coin flip. That cast blade still. It does. Attack. Oh. Oh wait, man, they have a bunch of X threes. Don't even kill it. Yeah, is this eight, nine, ten, eleven? I'd eat I could eat these two. I mean, if Jace is bouncing this, then he's not brainstorming. Like, it's not like this cost me a card to play it. It just, like, cost me prowess triggers down the line. How does he lose his... How does he lose his board? Yeah, these are three toughness guys. These are only two twos. Yeah. But he would... I don't think that's worthwhile. Oh, now he can... He drew Wasteland, so now he can Wasteland me in on something this. Well, sadly, we are already committed to this. I don't. I don't think we're gonna get to hex before Jake's get back from school. Um, the Q times just didn't line up. Yeah, Blade Steel doesn't trigger prowess. If Blade Steel triggered prowess, we'd have been fine. Pretty. I guess we could technically draw an outcome or a DT, right? F for outcome, and then like. He's only gonna get to pick his favorite card out of his deck. Maybe they messed up, man. I mean, like, the opponent drew well for the force into the Jace, but, like, once they had the Jace on the table, like, they're bound out trust by a significant margin, right? <laughs> All right, we're done here. We're done here. I get it. I get it. We did. 
All right. Uh... Ow. What? <laughs> Get up on the ground. The smash. The little jerk. I don't know if this is a Campbell matchup. I feel like this is just a... This might just be a submit matchup. Mental missteps probably fine. I don't I don't think it's good in this matchup. Like they've got goists and stuff, right? I guess they have to cast spells to keep up with us. I don't think it's a three Campbell matchup by any means. I don't know what I want to cut necessarily. Yeah, I get the tendrils probably isn't impressive. Maybe cut a Voltaic key. Got this tutor and bring in a misstep. Let's do this. It's like not exciting, but it's fine. Go you know, land top, land soul ring top, activate top. I want to draw next turn. I mean, I've got a top and another land. So, like, getting Wasteland. If they want to use their first turn to Wasteland this, I think that's a fine exchange for me. Yeah. You think I want to draw Time Walk? I don't know that I'm in the market for this library of Alexandria. Do you see that right there? That's why this card's banned in Legacy. That that turn one, I'm gonna go in the tank here for like 30 seconds. Jokes on you, all my cards are bad anyways. Dip the good card on top of my deck like a professional. Mana Drain, Preordain. Uh, I think I want to shuffle these, right? Mana Drain's okay. So I could time walk and then play Campbell, the Campbell next turn. I like that, I think. Get that out there. Uh, I don't know that we're going to have time to play Hex today. Jake gets, off, Jake gets home from school in like an hour. I think we might just finish up this match, maybe play another. That pause while they read Campbell. Let's look at the top cards of our deck here. Uh, Mana Drain's not bad. Don't want to draw that next turn. Try and keep our opponent from doing anything too stupid here. In my defense, I was going to switch to Hex, but the draft queue wasn't ready, so, you know, details. Um, I think I'm fine with that. Thanks for all your producing great content. This is my favorite deck right now. Red Mage Frank with the three-month resubscription. Thank you for re-upping. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yeah. yeah. Big Mama Jamma. I think I'm just passing. Let's just pass.
Loot your heart out. Yeah, leave dad's phone alone, child. Double wasteland. All right, yep, that's a thing. <laughs> Floating blue mana doesn't do anything. They just change phases. They just, they just change phases. It's act actually irrelevant. <laughs> If your opponent has a meaningful play that has to happen in the first main phase, Floating Blue has an impact, but, like, my opponent doesn't have any time-sensitive cards. Sure. You can- you can punish someone for being an idiot by floating mana. You're not- you're not wrong. You can definitely punish someone for being an idiot by floating mana. No, my Kimball. They're just gonna plus this and then kill us by casting spells. It, it, it mills us. Huh. <laughs> we have a Mox Jet and a Yogg Will. Is that the plan? Y Yogg Will lets you play lands from the discard pile too, right? Right? I'm pretty sure it's any card. Yeah, I think we're just doing that, right? They're going to drain this Force of Will and then have five mana next turn. Seven on. All right. And three forces. <laughs> All right, they're down to eight. They can cast four more spells. I use game... See, by using game neutral turns like discard pile and resource, I don't have anyone complain on either side. Except for magic players. They always complain on both sides. All right, three more spells, opponent. Here's the Tarmogoyf. No, oh, no! Damn. This card gains life. <laughs> this matchup seems really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you want to come over here? You got your blanket to hide under? Are you a ghost? Are you a ghost? We're just going to concede. We're just going to... They're almost dead, yeah, right. Oh, I guess there weren't any creatures in the bins, were there? Eh, we're pretty dead. Move on to the next one. Find another one of them decks that have basic planes in them. It's darn Death Ray Shaman and Leovold cards. The reason I stopped playing Legacy. They're following me into Vintage? They're following me into Vintage? So fair? Well, for starters, the Deathrite Shamans were certainly going to be able to drain us out of that game. The Campbell's not doing anything. Yeah, the, the Campbell's, the camp, they just sit there and keep plussing the Jace. Like, you have to ask yourself, what, what, what percentage am I to win that game? Is it worth continuing to play? Like, if you're in a tournament and your next round can't start, sure. Play out the sub 2% that you're going to actually, like, win that match. But here online, let's just, like, hop back into the queue and play another match. Like, 
It's not worth my time to, like, try and eke out a one percenter. They're gonna draw a Tarmogoyf at some point and just bury us. And by bury us, I mean the Deathrite Shamans were already killing us. It really didn't matter. Little headbutt monster. Your time, and that's, that's the, the classic CCG fallacy. Your time is not valuable. Like, sure, like, it doesn't cost us anything to keep playing the 1% game there, but, like, at the same time, it does cost me my time. The Deathrite Shamans kill us in five turns. We know there's two bricks under the top. So we get to see five more cards. And then past that, we have to we have to try and win a third game on the draw against a really bad matchup past that. Or I could hop back into the queue and try again. You don't get both. <laughs> there are there are Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. I do I do feel bad every time every time I put this put this card into my hand. Oh, vintage, oh, vintage, please, with the Q times, do, 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 All right. Whatever, whatever happens first, if this hex draft pops before this, uh, this vintage match fires, we're going to, we're going to draft hex. Hex draft cues at six out of eight. You get my laptop out of the car. Oh, oh, down to six. X was such a tease. We're up to seven. Now we're down to five. It is. People saw me join it. Everyone just bailed out. Please, Hex, Hex is the best card game I've played to date lifetime, but like non-asynchronous drafting is miserable. Please, please full asynchronous drafting, which is a shame because like this Hex limited format is amazing. Like it's, it's easily the best limit I've ever played in any card game to date. But like, this is just like such a buzzkill that I have to like sit here and wait for eight people to queue. Oh, up to six. Almost up to five minutes in the vintage queue. Oh, up to seven! Up to seven! Ah, oh, the vintage popped first! Sorry, Hex, too slow. Sorry, Hex, too slow. Kitchen Finks! With the 19 month three subscription. Thank you very much. I appreciate the continued support. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Kismet Draft is closer to um, Modern Masters Draft than Cube. So Cube are like multiple rares per pack. Um, Kismet Drafts are, it's a reprint set with all their standard legal cards that has, um, it's like a high power limited format, but it's only one rare per pack still. Uh, it is exact, it is identical on my end, whether or not you do a four ninety nine a month subscription or a Twitch Prime subscription. I see the exact same thing in terms of income. I don't know if 
I want to keep this hand or not? <laughs> yeah, I always put it on my third monitor when I queue up the draft. That way I don't miss it when it fires. Because, like, I really like drafting the format, but, like, it's... I think, I think we could do better than this. Yes, you do keep the cards, too. It's not Phantom or anything like that. Uh, sure. On the draw, right? I think I'm on the draw. On the draw. He needs, like, a blue source and a paradoxical outcome. Then it'll get Force of Willed. Alright, there's a blue source. Are we misstepping my preordain? That's what we let on this since we had the option we can go crypt top, spin top. I don't want this gush. Do I want the gush? I don't want the gush. Do I want the gush? I think I want the Mox Opal because it's basically a land at this point until we get Null Rod. I think I'm going to bottom that and take that and then go Mana Crypt. Like, I don't want to keep the Gush there because if they uh, misstep to the top, I'd be really sad. Okay, Merchant Scroll, Tarn, Key. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the scroll on top here for now. And we're going to go Mox, Mox, and we'll end step Vamp Tutor for a Paradoxical Outcome. Since this makes black mana. I mean, Excellent Draft only has close to zero value because the set is miserable and doesn't do anything in standard. Oops, did I say that out loud? There's like two cards. Yeah, and the weird thing is too, the Hex Modern Masters-esque format, they didn't charge twice as much per pack. They probably could have charged a premium for it and people still would have played, but they just made the MSRP on the packs the same as everything else. It's so strange. It's so strange. They didn't it's just like... like it's no, it it cost, cost the same amount, yep. It's very oh, I mean, green ink costs a lot more than blue ink, right? Could I vault key here? Maybe? I think I'd rather just outcome, though. So we'll put outcome on top, and then we'll spin top here. Huh. Do I just wait a turn? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do this so it's Drain, Outcome, Lotus, and then if they counter my Lotus, I'll draw the Outcome and use the Outcome. Yeah, it's so, it's weird and refreshing for like, because like, 
the hex guys like have to respond to user feedback fairly quickly because they don't have the the magic stigma or hearthstone stigma of like they're backed by companies that are too big to fail so they can just like do whatever they want to their consumers like if hex's product is bad they stop making money so like their product just isn't bad because like when it's shit if it's shit they wouldn't make money off of it and then their game would die I think I want to just pass here and just take one more turn so that way I can outcome with the mana drain back up next turn. They could also Jace here. If they Jace here, I'm going to draw the mana drain and then mana drain the Jace. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and I'm pretty sure I didn't leave that on top, so I'm on top. Huh. Huh. Do I just outcome in response to them activating Dak Faden here? I kind of like that. Just like go drain. Yeah, just go like drain, stack two outcomes on top. Yeah. And then like he tries to grab something. I pick them all up with outcome. Because like if he has a counter spell, he's going to counter the drain anyways, right? right? Yep. I think I like that. I think I'm just going to let this resolve. You know, you know, powerful paradox to stop him. I guess I should have activated this with this, right? Because they can try and change phases now. It's technically a small mistake. They do get to take my... Alright. Just... Alright. Okay, so they're down to one card, which actually means... Um, on the flip. So this does this, and then there's an outcome on top of my deck, and I have one, two, three, four mana, so I get to go ahead and draw with this and cast this outcome to draw three. And this can't activate again until next turn. Um, so you just lead on Mana Crypt here. Then play top, spin top. I don't know if I have enough to Yogg Will just yet. That's what we're trying to figure out here. So... Um, oh, Yogg, there's a Black Lotus in my bin. Of course I have enough to Yogg Will. Okay. I'm still getting used to that. I'm still, I'm still not used to Yogg Will Pass playing flames. lands. I'm not, I'm not used to Pass and Flames playing the lands out of my discard pile. I, I am not used, thank you. I'm not used to Yogg Will playing the lands out of my discard pile. Um... Do I want these other cards on top of my deck? This treasure cruise is kind of medium if I'm Yogg willing, right? So I probably... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Then I could do this. Then I can do this for black mana. And then this makes black mana plus this. And then I can... Yogg will... Then we can cast this Black Lotus. And then I can put this draw on the stack. Crack this for blue. 
Paradoxical outcome to pick all of these up. Yellow Hat with the host. Welcome to folks coming over from the Steve stream. We are currently playing some vintage Magic the Gathering. Oh, and I can outcome again here. What do we think about this par paradoxical outcome card, chat? Is it fair and balanced? Is it is it fair? I feel like it's just the fairest thing I can be doing right now. I've not. Two though yet. So and again, I want to just go ahead and retain priority when I draw with this and then cast this paradoxical outcome. It's white floating. Is that <laughs> oh, yeah, we could draw an academy. That's why we wanted to wait. Draw another card here. All right. What surprises await us in this quarter of our hand? Yep, pretty much. Alright, let's just start playing these out. I guess, do I want to... Oh, Merchant Scroll gets us another outcome, right? Do I have enough mana to do that? Oh yeah, I have a Teleri- I have a Teleri thing, sorry. Sorry, shut up, shut up, man. What do you do? I have enough mana- I have 70 mana rocks I have a Teleri Academy. I have enough mana. <laughs> uh, I don't have double black, right? So I can't actually cast tendrils. It's tough. It's tough. It's it's a hard knock life, really. Look, the other thing, the other thing about that too is like. I could just like draw a bunch more cards. Drawing a bunch more cards is far superior than doing anything else. <laughs> Hold priority. Outcome. Let's, let's talk about a good clean living right here. 27 still, man. There's still plenty of cards in our deck. Oh, I drew a monastery mentor. Do I have a time walk yet? I haven't drawn Tide Walk yet, huh? Pretty, pretty unlucky. Put the Mentor on the table. I don't have a Tendrils yet, unfortunately. You don't need... Always yield. Yay! Opponent conceded! <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Man, when this deck goes off, it's fucking great. It's so enjoyable. Was it good for you, opponent? It was good for me. Alright, so Mystic Tutor board's out. The Mental Missteps come in. Little Tanky comes out. I think I like that plan. I don't know, the Campbell was pretty mediocre in that other match we had. I think I want to board that in. And do this, try and kill him. Why aren't these cards standard legal? I don't understand. You're not wrong. I don't even smoke. We could definitely use a cigarette after that one. <laughs> we have two keys. So you're just like trimming, trimming the second key. We still, we still have vault key combo here. So we're not cutting the combo by cutting this. Otherwise, you are correct. If you only have one key, obviously, you'd cut the time vault way before you cut the key. Yeah, Campbell's standard legal, too. So that way, when they figure out how to build the paradoxical outcome deck in standard, you can, uh... This hand's pretty rancid here. Ah, man, I can cast this card. The hardest of casts. Do I keep this and just hope to draw Paradox while I come?
<laughs> hey, I would like the record to reflect that I six one or five one yeah, with Delver. Yeah. Bradley Brown, if you're out there, that stupid monument deck. Good lord, we were too stupid. We should have played mono red. Look at this hand. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ah, I'm, I'm recalling why we wanted the mulligan now. Is that two on the nose? I have a child. I'm allowed to make that joke. Hand even gets to exert its force of fill. I'm going to go Mox top, I think, to lead on here. So that way, if my opponent has a mental misstep, they might mist up the top, thinking I don't have a land. God, I am a wizard. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just inject those cards right into my veins. Put him right into my veins. I am a powerful vintage wizard. Oh, yeah. No. Uh. Looking for a land, looking for an is land. <laughs> Oh, is land? Oh, is land. Where for out there? I want to draw this. So I want a black source, right? Go top, top yeah, here. Box. This is oh, a green it. box. I'm going to pass here. I guess I like could demonic tutor. Do you want a DT here? Good question. I feel like I want a DT for something that makes a bunch of mana. Like uh, the Mana Vault or something. Like that's kind of our bottleneck, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't hate that. We have like the force to protect ourselves too. Yeah. Just like use our mana efficiently. I might even get a force out of them in all honesty. They are auto passing, so they don't have force. So, do I just want like mana crypt here? I think I just want like mana crypt here. Yeah. Could Lotus since we have Yogg will. So the problem is like the outcome doesn't do anything without a couple more zero costs. But I guess we have Gush to get rolling. I also have plenty of mana. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the mana crypt. I think. Because, like, if I hit another zero mana artifact next turn, like, that's really good for me. Because then, like, this paradoxical outcome is going to draw me extras. And I'm going to force a DAC here. Because I don't want them to take my Mox Emerald, because that's one of our combo pieces, basically. Man, next turn, we get to Gush plus Drain and Force, potentially. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so can we Yogg Will next turn, too? Potentially, yeah. That one, that one's gotta go. Am I supposed to pitch the outcome here? Mana drain? Yeah, it's probably a mana drain. Whoa, and they have nothing. They have stone, nothing. 
Zero mana artifact. 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 Just another paradoxical outcome. Rats. All right. So, float blue, float black. Cast Gush by returning these two cards to my hand, because that's a legal play for some reason. Another outcome. Okay, so cast this. Tap these two. Cast... Yeah, I don't think so. I want to just draw two. That's a mentor. I don't have a white source, though. You like the preordain first? Okay, so I can play... Do I want to Yogwill this turn? Oh, I do have a fetch yeah, land in there. Nah, I think that's... I can also just outcome again here. The problem is I feel like if I let him untap, I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be in a good spot. I feel like I'm not supposed to let him untap here. I could go... Mana Crypt into Yogg Will, And then, yeah, fetch Ancestral. I think I like that. Yeah. Grab Tundra here for later, and then maybe the Mentor can win the game after that. I get to recast the Sensei's Divining Top from my bin, too. Oh, we hit a Mox Sapphire. Good. You want a, you want a Cliff Bar? Okay. Doesn't really let us do anything particularly useful, does it? I guess I can Preordain. Can Preordain out of the bin here, and then top. I don't have Black Mana, so I can't do... T, uh, soul ring. Yep. Uh, do I want a vamp tutor on top of my deck? I don't think I do actually. So bottom, top, cast soul ring, activate soul ring, cast sensei's divining top, activate sensei's divining top. Yeah, they are in fact all bad. Then this and this. Yep. Not that that matters. Is there anything meaningful in this card pile? The copy of Leo. Um, I said it actually doesn't matter, right? I'm just gonna like go mentor and then like go ham. Yeah. Like he didn't have a force last turn, so I guess he had two draws of a force. Heads, I won the flip. All right, so I want to shuffle away the crap that's on top of my deck. So, cast, mentor, cast, outcome, so we don't get to draw cards from this because Leo's in play, but we're going to get to make a bunch of, a bunch of monks. All right, sweet. So we're three. We cast the league, Maddie. Didn't, didn't, cash, didn't we cast the league. I get to eat lunch. Yeah. Oh, merciful magic on line gods! We've cashed the league! Declan, we get to eat! <laughs> Hopefully this last... This last match is gonna pop here. Thank you everyone for hanging out here today while we wrap up the second Vintage League of the Morning. Remember, if you didn't catch our first Vintage League with the more fair blue-red Delver, it's gonna go up on my YouTube channel very shortly. If you're enjoying what you see and want to help support me in more of my TCG content, please consider subscribing on Twitch and becoming a patron on Patreon. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com, one of the buy and sell magic online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout there, you'll save 8% on your singles orders. 
CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you could save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using promo code Jeff12, you could save 12% on your purchase with them. And then finally, SpareDeck.com, they offer kind of a unique service. They will rent you any physical, standard, or modern deck. If you're someone like me that plays predominantly online, you want to play paper on occasion, Spare Deck's a super convenient service for that. They're also great if you're a competitive paper player who changes standard decks or modern decks quite often. But everyone had a wonderful weekend. Welcome, welcome to Tuesday Morning Vintage. Be the Vintage Super League tonight. Be, should be fun. Be sure to tune in that, twitch.tv forward slash magic. I'm not a part of that, but there's a lot of great magic players that are on there, so... Not practice, totally organic. Yep. The first time I did it, it was totally organic, but I've said it enough that we just get it down to I should just record it, right? I should just like cut to a commercial of myself. I feel like I should cut to a commercial of myself. That's something I should do at some point. Up the production value here. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hi ho the chariot, oh, waiting to queue. Let's pop on over here. Got the last one. It's fine. It's got like force pitch force. It's got a mox. It's got a prudent. It's got a top to dig for some stuff. Oh my god. I should have a commercial with myself. That sounds like a great use of learning to video edit it. I could wear different outfits, maybe a costume. I could put a mustache on. Well, I have a mustache, but like make like a big curly black mustache. Maybe I could talk in an accent for one of the characters, get really into it. it seems like Dece. It's not like Dece Plus or anything, but like it could possibly have a have a quick uh, quick blade steel colossus. We never quick blade steel colossus, people. I feel like it's a real it's a real mess. <laughs> Some people's, like, actual well <laughs> oh yeah, for for the record, uh, for if we're any DCFS agents out there watching yeah, this, the tidy fat child in the background <laughs> eats regardless of if we cash the Magic League. Okay, that's that's the joke. That's the joke. Declan's well fed. Okay. Speaking of well fed, I was like, where did he go? He's actually reaching his grubby little paw into the bucket of food behind me. Jeff's Shillinporium, home of the original net deck. That's fantastic, <laughs> and we might use that. I'm going to have to make an advertisement now. He lives on goldfish and water. There are some days where that's like all Jake wants to eat is goldfish and water. Oh no, Cavern of Souls. Oh wait, is this the This is the same person we played in the first the first two. This is a feature. I mean, we beat them the first two times, so like hopefully we'll beat them again here, but like that's so annoying. Like why am I playing the same person three times? I'm going to bottom this underground sea and top this flooded strand. And so, like, this is actually a good example. So, like, the vintage leagues on Magic Online aren't super popular. And the reason why they're not super popular is because vintage and legacy are really expensive on Magic Online, which is stupid because there's no reserve list on Magic Online. There's no reason these formats should be anywhere near as expensive as they are. Oh, maybe I should have played the fetch because they're going to play the three mana Thalia and I'm going to be sad now. It's going to be, I could force the Dullarod. Yeah, correct. Like, if I wanted to play the same person over and over again, why why am I paying $12 to do that? Like, like Maddie and I will just leave up some vintage. 
We should play some Paper Vintage. That sounds great. No, I don't want to shuffle. We're going to bring back Paper Magic, and we're going to play Paper Vintage, Maddie. And I'll, I'm going to give you the deck with the basic planes in it. <laughs> so, can't be countered. They don't... Oh, I, I could have forced this. They don't have a land. Wow. Actually, that... I should have forced that. Yeah, that is a big deal. Uh, I'm going to stop on my turn. I guess I could draw exactly... Um, I could draw exactly Basic Island and then cast Tinker, so I'm not going to top on my upkeep. Oh, I guess I could technically hit uh, something that produces... I could hit my Mana Crypt of my own. Fluster Storm, Dig Through Time. Um... I don't want to fluster storm. Yeah, I definitely, I should have, I didn't even think about that. I should have forced the mana crypt because, like, we were going to play the mentor and then go ape shit on them. Yeah, we're definitely on the tinker, tinker for blade steel plan here. Uh, yeah, one basic. This, uh, Thalia number two. That's fine, right? We just, like, fetch Basic Island, play Monastery Mentor here, play Tap Plan. Dig Through Time, so I probably don't want to draw the Dig Through Time. Up on my turn, so we're going to fetch with this. So if I would have forced this, that would just been a full turn behind here. You want you want more Cliff Bar, bud? There you go. Oh, I can't even cast Mentor because this has to come into play tapped. I don't have a basic oh, planes. Basic. Yeah. Do I want to spin this? Because I can't, because Tinker costs four, because there's a Thalia in play. That's what Thalia does. It's actually not that bad. I don't, I don't think you're... I guess it gives, it gives me a shuffle with the top, technically. Yeah, I think you're supposed to waste the Tundra there, too. Mana Crypt is actually the perfects, right? Yeah. No, I get to pay. I pay one for it, and then it nets one, and then I sack it to Tinker. Yeah. yeah so I get to. I get to. Bad, I get to put a Blade Steel Colossus on the table here. It's gonna be tapped, but. They have a Warping Well. They have a Containment Priest in their main deck? I cost one. And it can't be countered, man. This can't. So... Did I just get Lotus here?
I think you just get Lotus here. I cast Monastery Mentor right now. Only cost extra. It's a creature, man. It's a creature. A creature. I know. I know it has the word storm on it, but it is a creature. Maybe. Probably has a reality smasher, and then I'm dead. Four. Oh yeah, we might be dead. Yeah, cause I can only block one of these. They're gonna come into play tapped because of this is the problem. Well, I guess I could potentially just kill him this turn, right? Yeah, I mean, like, and that's like that's that's that's, that's the line. The line yeah, is kill him here. Yeah. I have to cast twelve spells through Athalia. Easy, easy, po totally reasonable. We didn't try yet, man. We didn't draw yet. Those are the lines that came oh, back okay. to our hand. Well? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. This nets me one. Yeah. Yeah, so if I would have if I would have forced this mana crypt on two, we'd have won this game by like a huge margin. Because third deck is terrible. Sometimes you fuck up and then you lose to the terrible deck. Tilt. Main deck containment priest, yep. Wait, island in, fluster storm out, clicks a bit. Try not to mess up. Try not to mess up the next one here. Well. We know how this deck fares against uh, mono white nonsense. Yeah. That that was the first game we dropped, right? No, we dropped a game in this this set. Uh, see, it's pretty terrible, right? It's got plate steel head tendrils in it. This hand's fine. It cast recall on one, right? We go doop doop tap this cast this cast recall. I think this hand's fine. RQR Master X eighty five. <laughs> With the 20 month 3 subscription. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. I don't think I want that, actually. I guess I could cast this on two. No, not even guaranteed. I want I want lands or paradoxical outcomes, I think. Yeah, you're not wrong. Every hand with, especially against the deck that can't counter it, right? There's zero lands in this deck. Zero lands. The artwork on these these Magic Online Moxins is so gorgeous. I hate the original artwork. It's like the original Forcible art. It, they're so ugly. The original Mox are like gaudy and awkward too. Got a real thinker over there, opponent. Last time they tanked, they kept a miserable hand. They did. It was like Leonid Arbiter plus a Wasteland does disruption. It was really terrible. Now watch us get like Mind Break trapped here. Probably. 
see, like, why would you put a bunch of basic planes in your deck when you could do that and cast a recall on the first turn of the game? I just, I don't understand. Did I spin this top? I should wait and see what they do. I should wait and see what they do. Oh, don't know around me. Don't know around me. I can spin top and look for a force. I'm glad we waited. Oh no! It's a start beer. Please just, please just be a reality smasher. I've never wanted to be turn one smashered so badly in my life. Dude, there's Yogwill in my deck. You gotta bring in Graf Digger's Cage. TKS would be annoying. Smasher, not so much. TKS, yeah. It's annoying. Uh, no, I... Oh, I could have countered it. Because Magic Online sucks. I could have dug for a force there. Yeah, let's just draw an outcome, please. That's fine. That's, uh... That's a sh sh yeah, it's a, it's a shuffle on an outcome. Oh my god, I put those in the wrong order. No, no I didn't. We're fine. We're fine, never mind. It's unfortunate the recall's already in my bin. That means I can't just, uh, search and scroll for a recall. Should I... Yeah, if I hit a, if I hit a crypt or the other one. Did OP have taken tendrils? No, I've got plenty of win conditions in my deck. I think not taking tendrils is fine. Oh, huh. I wonder if I was supposed to cast Merchant Scroll off of these two and then spin with this and then play this other one out and then I could have held a Mana Drain up here. Yeah, I could have held a Mana Drain up here. Ah, we might lose the third match to this one. Is there a land on top of our deck? It's not. Um, I don't have a Hercules recall on my 75 because I'm dumb. I can't even just DT to get out of this. We're going to put a recall on this deck before we play it again. Yeah. Tutor for Tolarian Academy. That's a good one, Bobby. Look at that. So we got vintage expert Bob and Cheese here in chat. So this is three, four, which isn't enough to cast this yet, so I should just wait. Mox will bull cost mana. Soaring's pretty good. What's the outcome tap for one more? Pass here. I don't want to play this out so I don't get wastelanded or strip mined. Yeah, because of the Tolarian Academy. Yeah. 
Uh, Soul Ring. I want to make white here in case I hit a uh, mentor. Although I guess I already have the black, oh, but I can make black anyways. Yeah. Might just kill them with the tendrils actually. A card here. I already played a land. <coughs> yeah, I think... I think we're just passing back here, which is kind of sad. We're going to play out all of our stuff, but... Look at that storm counter. So helpful, right? the turn here could I have value tendrils I need five to cast tendrils yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have enough meta We might be on the value tendrils plan this turn. They do here. Looking for mentor at this point. Well, I mean, that's the way to win the game, right? Yeah, it's fun. Oh, they have a... <laughs> it stops sticker too, it does. Yeah. Well, I've officially stacked those wrong. <laughs> so what's the plan here? So I could draw the Tinker. I'm going to play this Library of Alexandria. I'm going to use this to draw a card, I think. It's a uh, mana, mana Vault, right? Which actually still nets us... Oh, wait. Could I have hard cast the robot? There's a robot on top of our deck right now. One, two, three, four. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This only nets me one mana. Yep. Well, you can... Yep. Hmm. <laughs> If I didn't draw off library, it's still the same, right? No, it doesn't net <laughs> two because this costs three and makes three. Yeah. Because there's a Thalia and a Thorn, so it only nets one. If I tap this and void all of these, plus pay two more, I can treasure cruise.
Uh, that doesn't kill creatures. It only does it to them. Well, I mean, you're gonna... I'm, I'm only going to two. I'm fine. I got another turn. Yeah, we pretty did that anyways. Cavern. It adds mana for me. It's a ritual. Like, I can only cast, like, one or two spells. I guess this is a free a spell. So, yeah, I have no... <laughs> there's, just, there's too many things. The sucks. The... <sighs> do I just mana drain? Or do I just cruise here? I probably want to get this into play, right? Gets me a free mana on here. And then I can cruise here. <laughs> that card's so good, it's busted. That's what my deck wants to do. All right, now I'm just passing the turn here, I think. And discard this opal. If you're not ten I mean, we might tendrils. We might tendrils next turn. No, I want to hold up. I want to hold up mana drain, so I don't want to tendrils them. The Tinker means I could draw Key or Vault and then Tinker into the other one and take infinite turns. Because this doesn't stop. This only stops creatures. Yep. We want to not die to Smasher. We want to dodge Smasher and another hate card here. We just want them to have a brick. Probably. Oh, it's Displacer, which means they can... I don't think so. So this deals the damage to me. If it's tapped, it doesn't untap. So I think I just let this happen. It doesn't actually net me mana with the mana vault. Yeah. Is the thing. That's actually bad for me too, because it lets them activate this uh, displacer twice. That's actually perfect. Yeah. That's actually perfect. Keep an eye out for Jake's bus for me. Yeah, yeah. He should be here soonish. That's actually perfect because now, now I get to now I get to retop. So I'm gonna draw a card here, and they're gonna take that. And then before I draw another card, I'm gonna get to um because they need to do both of these now. Oh, and then they get to take the Tinker now with this one. No, I just want to make sure that I never give them an opportunity to take uh one of those things out of my hand. Okay, yeah, I think I think we actually get to time. I think we're gonna time out this match now, but like we we would be winning this game. <laughs> oh, I have library so I could draw both, yep. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Top again when they bounce the next time. I agree. 
and I want to make sure I don't actually draw the other one inside of my draw step. Because then they could bounce inside of my draw step. So, regardless of what they do, I want to start on my turn here. I want to stop on my turn. They took my tendrils, sure. Alright, so I want to top now because I want to make sure I don't draw either of these two during my draw step. So I want to go boop, boop, boop and put Mana Drain on top of my deck. So I draw Mana Drain. And then during my draw step, in response to this drawing, I'm going to top again. So that way, I draw something that's not Vault or Key. And then I'll use Library plus Top to draw Vault and Key during my main phase. Cast them both, take infinite turns, cast the Blight Steel Colossus, kill them. <laughs> we won this game. <laughs> this Storm deck is great. Can I interest you in a storm, a Bruin, ladies and gentlemen? Can I interest you in a storm? They didn't stop during my draw step. All right, well, um, I guess I play this now and then draw with library. What? Well, he's never going to have an opportunity to do it. I'm going to draw the card and then I gain priority. I cast my spell immediately. They're never, they're never going to have an opportunity to do it. They're, they're never going to have an opportunity to do it. We don't draw them both at once. Correct. If we drew them, if I was stupid and drew them both at once, my opponent would have an opportunity to disrupt what I'm doing here. But I'm playing optimally, which means my opponent doesn't have the ability to interact with what I'm about to do. I'm going to draw one. I'm going to activate my Tolarian Academy and cast it, or Soul Rings or Mana Vaults or whatever. And then I'm going to draw with my top and draw the other one. Here's more. Here's more bar, little fat boy. Okay, so now they're going to activate this in response. And then in response to the Thought Not Seer making me draw a card here, I'm going to retop. I'm going to retop. So now when the Thought Not Seer makes me draw a card, it's going to see Flooded Strand here. So my opponent's going to make me draw Flooded Strand. They're going to take a card out of my hand. They took Sensei's Divining Top out of my hand. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a Monastery Mentor in my deck. You need any more turns, did you, opponent? Alright, I'm gonna start my next turn. Six, seven. To cast this. We won that game of magic. We won that game of magic. That was. That was just good, good, clean living right there. We dithered the thing and we won. No, I boarded in a second island.
Uh, this hand's not good enough, right? It just doesn't do anything, and it doesn't have a force to counter any of their hate cards. We tried so hard to lose, and in the end, our opponent just had these white cards. Oh, I need to read that. I'm gonna take a mulligan here. I think we do better at six. Uh, yep, the six is much better. Don't think I'm in the market for a demonic tutor, as odd as that sounds. Fast mentor is pretty good in this matchup. Like, I wouldn't mind drawing a mock so we can turn two mentor. Yeah. Is it for the championship? Okay. You have a chalice here? This feels like an X spell. Yeah, you know those cards restricted in vintage? Yeah. Lotus. 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 Alright, well, I have no way to take this off the table, so I'm gonna cast the Sensei's Divining Top into it. Yeah. Especially since we drew the the treasure cruise here. Rats, I'm pretty unlucky. I remember their trigger. Why not save the top for Mentor? Uh, I don't know. Can you run out and get my child real quick? Oh good, that's totally reasonable and beatable. So, sucks to end on a low note, but we did. I did board in a second basic island though. Maybe they don't have anything else this turn. Nah, I've read I've read this book before. Man, could you imagine if they hadn't had that and I'd just been like, wow. I think we'd have beat one hate card this game. Jake just got home from school. Yeah, we played the same person three times in this league and it was fucking miserable. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Magic Online. Thank you for taking my $12. I mean, at least we broke even this league, I suppose. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Um, I'm going to feed the kids some lunch. And if you're one of my wonderful hexers out there, I think I'm going to fire back up with a Kismet draft after I feed the kids lunch. So probably... Half hour, 45 minutes, hour, depending on how long Jake takes to eat. And uh, I'll be back then. Remember, if you didn't miss the first league we played with the Blue Red Delver Duck, I'm going to publish on um, that on YouTube now. Peace, folks.